Hi everybody! How you doing today? In the Northeast it is rainy and cold and a typical autumn day. <laughs> I don't know what it is that happened to me in third grade in Mrs. Such's class, but ever since then I have loved cold, rainy, slash snowy days. I don't like being outside. I'm not an outside winter sports gal, but I love those days. I feel so safe and sitting inside. Maybe it was reading class because the thought of being inside on a day like this and just reading or doing seat work, as we would call it when I was teaching, um, something where I'm sedentary and I'm with the computer or I'm reading or I'm writing or something uh, on a day like this feels very comforting to me. Does it to you? So when I opened my meditations this morning and began to read and meditate, um, I almost went with one by a different group, but I'm back to uh, Daily Word with Unity because it just I hope it speaks to you the way it did to me when I first read it. So I'm going to read and comment on it. The, uh, the title, the topic for today is Inner Peace. And it says, Through God within, I create waves of peace. Waves of peace, like there's a wave generator. You know, we've seen those in theme parks or whatever. Just keep generating those calming waves of peace. Here's what it says. The energy I carry inside affects the world around me. When I feel sad, mad, or glad, the people around me can pick up on those feelings too. When I allow myself to open to the presence of God within and fully process my thoughts and feelings, the result is deep peace that radiates outward, contributing to the energy of genuine healing everywhere. I find time today to be still. Turning within, I become aware of any tension I may be holding in my body, which can give me insight about my emotions. I welcome all my feelings with acceptance and allow them to wash over me. Like a wave, they build, crest, and calm as I send myself love. The resultant peace that surpasses all understanding is mine to share. And the Bible quote is from Numbers 6, verse 26. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. A couple things caught me as I was reading through here. Where it says... Um, when I allow myself to open to the presence of God within me and fully process my thoughts and feelings, the result is deep peace. So that's a reminder to all of us to not negate what we're feeling, to not push it down and pretend it's not there. It is to process our feelings, to talk about them, to, if we don't, if we're not talkers, to journal about them but to get the feelings outside of us, to process them, to put them someplace where we can look at them and say, oh, where's that coming from? And to analyze them a little, trace them backward. Where did that feeling originate? Why do I have that reaction to this? So we have to process our thoughts and feelings. We can't just have them and expect that they're gonna to lead to peace. Some probably will, but more generally, if we process our thoughts and feelings, the result is deep peace that radiates outward. That's one thing that caught me. 
the other thing, where was it? Um, oh yes, um, turning within, I become aware of any tension I may be holding in my body, which can give me insight about my emotions. I've learned that to be true in my career, that if we can be aware of our bodies, our bodies can inform our emotions. They can help us process things. For instance, um, because of some life events that I have lived through, when I am in the presence of injustice, I will feel it as a tightening in one part of my stomach, even before I am consciously aware of the injustice. So when I am in the presence of that feeling and I feel my body tightening, my stomach tightening especially, then I know to look around and say, where is the injustice that I'm picking up on? I'm sure some of you do that about uh, different things too. I think it goes back to the having that, that idea of having been uh, burned ourselves on the stove. Whenever we walk by a hot stove, you know, it, our body is sensitive to it in that area. And um, I think because of different things that we've been through, our bodies remain sensitive to those kinds of things. So what we have to do is develop the scanning technique that allows us to constantly or frequently be scanning our bodies during the day to say, what am I reacting to? Where's that coming from? Because when we do that, it expands where our attention might be. I might be so focused on some conversation I'm having that I'm unaware consciously of some injustice that's happening over here or um, some something else I might be sensitive to. You know what I'm saying? I'd, I'd be so focused on one thing, I might not consciously be aware of it. But if while I'm talking with that person, I can be scanning my body. Um, and we get the more you do it, the faster it, it gets and the more you're able to... Um, spot the different parts that are responding and see if it's, oh, is that just a physical thing? Or, oh no, is that something else that's happening? Um, so my, I guess my message for today, uh, although I didn't start out with this as the message, is, is really kind of paying attention to our bodies so that by doing that, we can arrive at that inner peace, which then radiates to the rest of the world. And like ripples, the rippling effect does affect others. So we'll call, it, call today's a prayerful pause one of body awareness. Body awareness. Be aware of your body and what it's telling you about your emotions. Okay? Thanks for joining me for these few moments to think of something greater than ourselves. In this case, the inner peace that we can achieve when we have body awareness. I'm Pastor Deb Swift of South Presbyterian Church in Rochester, New York. We'll see you back here next time. Until then, God bless. Take care. Bye for now.